Hello and welcome to my channel, the C Shop, where we write code in the Windows Forms application for C Shop and the code we write works in Visual Studio 2008, 10, 12, and 13. So if you have any of those, you can be able to use the code that we write. And in this video, we're going to learn about charts and basically how to function and use a chart. Um, so let's just get started right away. So um, let's go to File, File, New. We want to create a new project. So click on project, Visual Studio C Sharp, Windows Forms application, and we'll change the name to C Sharp Chart. Right? And we click OK. And once that loads, um, we want to select a chart from our toolbox. Alright. So let's go to our toolbox and just type the name chart and we post that into our window. Right, and let's just go ahead and click back onto our our window so we can just change a few things like we change the text and we'll change the text to charts and we'll go ahead and remove our icon. So basically what we do in most of our videos. So just our form our window can be proper. So we set our start position to center and we are good to go. Alright, so basically this is a chart and um what we have right now, by the default features, um, Visual Studio gives you a series and um, basically it populates a chart for you just to see how your chart is going to look. All right, and we want to go to series. Okay, so we're gonna go and click on the series. So you find series right there, and just go ahead and click on that. And um, as you can see, we've been given the default one. The Visual Studio has given us, and we can go ahead and change the name of that. So we we'll go to name, and we'll change that to mathematics, All right? Mathematics, and we're gonna add. So add another one. We'll call that one um, English. Sorry, put a name again. Call that English, and we'll add another one, and we'll call that one science. All right. So basically, we have created. Sorry, we're going to remove that other one. And um, basically, we've created the series, and you can see them as they are, they are here. And if you'd like to change the color of any of them, you just click click on the series you want to change or the members, and you can go up, and you can be able to change um, the color right there. So you, right now we have our mathematics as blue. We can go and change that to red, right, or whatever you'd like to change it to. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and change it back to blue, right? And you can even have your the series you want or the member you want um, in a picture, right? So you can go ahead and change the image, right? The back image, right? For right here, so you're gonna change it. You can just go ahead and import whatever you'd like to do. So that, that's up to you. So basically, you're given um, in the properties. You can do it whatever you'd like to do to it. You, but also, um, we can copy, like copy all of these, right? And we can change how our charts is our chart um, type. So right now we have our chart type as columns, as you can see there in columns. So you can go to chart type and you can change that to. You can have lines, and you see changes to lines. So you can have um, a bar. Which right now you can have because we have no information in our um, chart. But once we populate the chart, we're gonna um, see how we can use the different types. So let's go ahead and just click OK, and we have um, our chart. All right. Now let's go to our code and write some some code on the chart. All right. So what we want to do, so we can just go to um, Solution Explorer, click on, click on your form, and view code. And what we are going to do is we're going to uh, um, add a new function. And we're going to call this function populate. And sorry, populate. And basically, what this function is going to do, we're going to add um, information into our chart, right? So we're going to write the name of our chart, which is chart one. I didn't change my name of the, of, of my chart. Like you can see that right there text I didn't change the name 
um, if you change your name, sorry, here yeah, in the name, if you, if you change your name, then you should write the name you changed it to, where I have written my name right here, right? So, chart dot. We want to use a series, so series, and we're gonna write um, the name of our series between these two brackets and um, the speech marks. So uh, the first series we had was mathematics, and um, we're gonna have points. Um, in both axes of x and y, and um, we're gonna have. Let's have the name of the student. Let's have the name as Jane, and we'll say Jane had 80 in mathematics. Okay, and to make work easier for us, let's just go and copy that two more times, and we'll just change um, the marks they had. So we'll say she had 40, 60, and we're gonna change the subjects to. English and mathematics and science. Sorry, and make sure you wrote exactly how you spell them in your series. All right, so exactly how you spell them here, and make sure you write them here correctly. All right, so um, we want our function to run once we execute, once we debug. All right, so this function will be run once we debug the program. So let's go ahead and debug it. And um, once it loads, we see exactly what we've written. So we've said that we have um, one student, and the name is Jane. And Jane has um, 860. We made a mistake there in science. So you can see what she has in science, and we can see exactly. Um, so our, our chart is working right. So let's go ahead and have another student. All right. So let's just copy that to make work easier and paste it. So we'll just go ahead and just change the name. So we'll change it to James. Uh, and then we'll change James's marks. 786. Right? Then once we load that, we see now we have two students. And you can see the marks they have. All right? And um, that's how our code basically works. And what this means is that and also, if you if you change if the name in your first series, um, well, well as is mathematics, um, is the name that's going to be put into the chart. So if I, I go ahead and remove this name right here, you're going to see that even when I run the program, we still have Jane in the same place. But if I go ahead and remove the name and change it to you, and I wrote, and I load the program you're going to see that the name changes. So the one you write first is about the one that really matters. You don't have to add names into the, the ones that follow. So our program works. So now let's have some more fun with it. Um, we're going to have um, a weather chart, right? And we'll have the weather from Monday to Friday, OK? So we'll, have, we'll add text boxes and a button. So let's go ahead and go back to our chart, to our window. Let's just add more space. So we're going to put, let's just go ahead and pin that. We'll go to our text box and we'll have copy paste that for, uh, for Monday to Friday. Okay. So we just go ahead and arrange it so we can use it properly. Alright. So now we need labels as well. So let's just so we, we can know what is what so and we'll put the labels in a line all right and the last one there and we'll change the names to the text rather and Tuesday Thursday and Friday. Right? And I, I won't change the names of my text boxes. So if you want to change the names of yours, you can just go to name um, and change it. I'll just leave mine as that. And we'll go to the code. Actually we need a button. So we're gonna go ahead and get a button from our top our toolbox and put the button right there. And we'll change the text to show 
because once we click on the button we want it to show the data we've entered here mm, the weather kind of thing the weather during monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and i'll leave the name as that you can change it if you'd like to so we can go ahead and double click on our button and it takes us back here so we're going to go ahead and write the following code so write the name of our chart and we're going to have a series and we're going to actually we need to change the information in the chart so let's go to back to our chart and we'll go to series which is right here and we don't want to have mathematics and all that now you can just go ahead and remove that and we're going to add um, change the name of that one to Monday and add another one change the name of that one to sorry to Tuesday make sure your spelling is correct because if you write the wrong one in the code you're not going to get the results that you want Thursday sorry Day and the last one as Friday. Okay, and um, so we're gonna add right now. We have our chart populated as so now we can go and write the code. So we can just um, we'll just leave that there for now. We'll, re we'll remove our function from that and we'll have the name. Let's write this code again. So the name of our chart is chart one, and we want series. And the name of our series is Monday for the first one. And we're gonna have points, points. And we're we're gonna use um just the y axis for this one, right? We don't want x and y like we used previously, as you can see over here, because for the x, um, we wanted to add the name. And for the y-axis, we're going to add the marks. This one, we're just going to add um, the weather. So we don't really want to write at the, the name, right? And then we're going to write the name of our text box. So from the text box one, we want the text box to the information in that text box to be put into the chart for Monday, right? So if you enter like 40 degrees or whatever the temperature was, it's going to be um, a graph is going to be computed all right based on the our text in the textbooks so we can just instead of writing that code we can just copy this that for the rest we just go ahead and change the names um, so and then we'll change that to Thursday and the last one to Friday and now we are also going to go ahead and change the text boxes so based on the, the name of your text box change it appropriately and now we have um, the code as follows so basically um, what the code does once we, we put um, data into our text box in terms of the number and we click on the show this code should work all right so let's go ahead and debug it and once let's enter monday we we'll say on um, 30 and we have 20 degree, 21 degrees so we have to go to the law of 10, 45, 43, and we'll have just two. Once we click on the show, we see that um, our chart has been created. Now we have to see that the color. Monday we had 30, Tuesday we had um, 21, so on and so forth. So our program is working appropriately. It's working how it's supposed to work. And now we can, um, if you'd like to, you can go ahead and just customize your chart. So if you just go back to series and depending on if you want to do it individually or you want to do it as all together um, you can just copy all of them and then change it if you like so you can change that the chart type you can have line right now you see changes to line or you can change it to whatever you like bar and so on and so forth um you can go ahead and change the colors but don't change the colors um, as when they're all saved because they'll all change to that color so you can just do it individually so for Friday right now we have um, 
gray I mean gray color so you can change that to I have red you see you can change it to whatever you like so um basically if you go through your properties you can you can find how you like to customize it okay you can also change the back image so you can just copy all of them and we change the back image right now we have no image so you can go to our pictures and click on that and open it and um, you see it changes all right so now um, our graph changes to the color i mean to the image that we chose all right and um i'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that because i i want to use it how it is now um you can just customize it if you like thank you for watching the video please subscribe share thank you